was Kerry Cosmic King to lose my athlete culture. Athlete culture. Af your elite. Hope you've been at it. Alright, so uh completed first eight weeks. First eight weeks. Now some people might say, why don't you just go all the way through and just say nine weeks? Why you even gotta count weeks at all? Um, well, we all know why we do that, but if there's anyone questioning the methods, the reasons are vast and many. <clears throat> For instance, instead of going into week nine, we are recycling the thought the intention, the focus, okay. these are the things that, that helps you build up to whatever it is that you're building up to, right, right on this side, yeah, but these are the things that helps you constrict, and explode and, and focus and achieve. So these are the things that helps you build up to whatever it is that you're building up to. So I, I, I don't choose to go all the way through and say this is week nine. So here we are. Welcome back to week one. Welcome back to your dedication, to your thought. Welcome back to your dedication and your thought. And we know everything where everything starts at, right? Right? It's all just a thought and then <sighs> welcome back to your dedication and your thought. Week one. It's only right, it's only right that I recap and go back to, that I recap and go back to the last eight weeks. A very, a very successful eight weeks. I hope it was for you too. had me a very successful eight weeks. Um, my changes have been evident. <clears throat> uh, now, one thing about this is you got to be honest with yourself. You got to be honest with the amount of, uh, you got to be honest with how you live the last eight weeks, how you lived it. Oh, um, now that's your livelihood, right? And you gotta be honest with the effort that you put in. Okay. And you gotta be effort. You gotta be. You gotta be honest with uh, the actions that you that you've done as well. That you could apply that to anything that you're doing that takes time and um, this kind of uh, focus and, and whatever to manifest. So, uh, I've had a very successful eight weeks uh, and I've seen great results for the amount of action and effort and the livelihood that I have been able to maintain this past eight weeks. Now keep in mind, I'm, I'm, I, I was recovering from an in injury and the fact is, the honest truth about that is, if, if given eight weeks, you don't recover, uh, you don't fully recover now this is a eight weeks of exercising and, and 
mentality and dieting and things like that, right? So if eight weeks of that, you need to go see a specialist, right? A doctor or whatever, uh, for whatever you're going through, you know? So if you haven't uh, healed yet within that eight weeks, sure, you know, you could go ahead, recycle, restart, you know, or continue on through and give yourself another eight weeks. But to start off on, on, on something like this in the first place, you would need to feel um, a, a certain amount, a certain level of health to want to dedicate yourself to um, transforming your body and your mind, right? So engineering your body and your mind. So um, with that being said, if you're going into a second or third um, eight week process or however long that you've given yourself and you, you did like you really have to keep this this type of things in mind. You need to see a specialist. Um, you need to go through some kind of professional therapeutic type of regimen and, and, and a routine. And I'm saying that because you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to uh, be able to live with the results, right? That that you've uh, that that you've attained, that you've gained. You know, you're gonna have to be able to live with the gains and the amount of action, effort, and, and the livelihood that you that you've lived throughout that time of focus and um, conditioning engineering right throughout that time of, of, of throughout that process so um as far as i'm concerned i've, I've had a, a successful eight weeks uh i will add that i have seen a professional right before this like before that first eight weeks um i saw a professional two that's eight weeks that's two months uh two months right so Six months before that, I, I, I saw a professional about my issue. I gave it time to heal without, you know, doing uh, just a whole bunch of resting. You'll go back to video one, you'll see all of that, uh, or video two. Uh, you'll see it uh, somewhere on my page, on my, uh, on my athlete uh, playlist, playlist that I have there. But, um, once you've, you've, you've def, uh, defined what you need to do to heal, and you, you heal, and then you start a, a rebuilding process, uh, a, a engineering process of that body and that mind, um, you gotta, the, the, the reason why I choose to break things down uh, into segments, um, into, into pieces of time is, is because you're gonna have to sit down and evaluate and um, analyze your uh, yourself and, and what you're doing throughout that whole process. So, you know, break, break, break things down in time because of that, for, for the analysis and the, uh, and the reasoning. So, uh, like I said, I've had a successful eight weeks for the amount of action, effort, and the livelihood. Excited about this next um, eight weeks. I still haven't. There's a, uh, uh, there's a lot of things I didn't achieve, right? There's a lot of things I didn't achieve in the first eight weeks, and uh, it's not okay. It's not okay. But um, as Mary J. Blige would say, it's all right, right? <laughs> um, so. Once again, right, this is why we break it down into segments so that, you know, for the analysis and also for the, uh, for the uh, rededication and, and, you know, to kind of keep things exciting, um, make sure that you know what it is you're, you, that you didn't achieve, that you need to work on, that you need to be better at, right? <clears throat> 
all right so first eight weeks um, I didn't quite get as physical as I wanted to um, still haven't been to the basketball courts you know our, our comfort zone still haven't been to our comfort zone at all um, There's been instances in time where I felt like I needed to ice my my uh, my injured area or my healing area. Let's say that. Oh, that's valid. There's been times that I felt at least twice that I felt like I, I needed to ice my uh, my healing area, my my hindrance there. So. <clears throat> State of, I'm questioning my state of, of health as far as that particular part of my, my body goes right now. But, um, you know, there's been times where I felt like I needed to ice it and, you know, show it some special attention. And I do, you know, massage and um, um, ice and heat treatment and things like that. Um, I still haven't been comfortable enough to get down and stretch as much as I need to. Um, now a lot of us, especially those of us that are already athletes and those of us that are definitely not athletes, and this is the two extremes, right? At the two extremes of, of, of fitness, non-athletes and athletes, we often forget that stretching in itself is an exercise if you you know depending on on the uh, uh, on the kind of uh, 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 pressure that you apply to those muscles um, the kind of stretchings that you're doing right because um, you know if you, you go to yoga and there's yoga right and there's power yoga and then there's hot yoga and then, so those kind of people know what we're talking about but stretching in itself is an exercise <laughs> so I, I still haven't quite get down to uh, daily stretching uh, and I look forward to that as well so getting to that comfort zone which is you know back on the basketball courts getting in my laps, stretches, my push-ups, right? Doing those kinds of uh, movements. You know, it's, it's kind of, for me, it's kind of like the fluid part of, of my exercise, where, where the physical exercise in itself, where you isolate certain muscles and lift weights and things like that, those are kind of like the hard kind of uh, exercises right and to me like sports <clears throat> is like the application and, 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 and for me it's more it's it's like um, adding more range to the work that you've done um, so to me it's more like it's more fluid to where you're swimming you know it's an action and um, it's like a full body action <clears throat> um, so Yes, 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 yes. Still haven't gotten to that comfort zone. Um, and what was the other one? Oh, and still haven't applied all of my exercise knowledge and, and all of my exercise capabilities. Um, and I still haven't mastered a routine, right? And these are these are three big things that I wanted to do in the first eight weeks. Um, uh, get to that comfort zone. Well, first of all, Come up with a, with a routine. Well, I did, you know, 15 minutes, you know, 15 active and circuitry type of minutes of work, right? Um, my, your diet is kind of a routine, whether you're fasting or um, adding on weights and whatever it is that you're doing. That's it. So yes, I, you know, I, I had levels of success, but um, and, and I said it when I started, right? When I started this video been a successful eight weeks but um there's levels so uh, so 
far as how hard I wanted to go, definitely nowhere near it, but uh, yeah, so to be able to get to that comfort zone and add that fluidity to my to my routine, that that's all that we're aiming for, you know. I got dunking goals, bro. I don't know why that's so important to me as a, as a basketball player, especially at, at you know. I'm gonna start saying I'm, I'm six eight now, by the way, because I'm, I'm more I'm, I feel closer to six eight than I do to six six. <laughs> so um, at at um, six eight, um, you know, I don't care how old I am, I don't care how injured I am, unless I'm in. Kind of things, then you know, dunking will always be important to me. I don't care what, what else I could do on a basketball court, <laughs> but at closer to 6'8, it's definitely important. And what kind of dunking you say? Flat foot, vert, boom, flat foot, vert, boom, just phew, and get you one. What kind of one you say? Preferably a tomahawk. Black foot tomahawk, Ooh, that'd be nasty. But black foot tomahawk, I could done that. And <laughs> black foot tomahawk. Ugh. Ah. Boy, I get the flat foot tomahawk. Y'all gonna see it, man. Y'all gonna see it. But yes, sir. It's week eight again. Back to week one. Oh, it's the eight week process again. Back to week one. The dedication and the thought. And the thought is we want to double up. Right? We want to we want to double up on that livelihood. We want to double up on that effort. We want to double up on the actions that we've been doing, that we've been taking, right? To get there. So, du, 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 double up. That's the thought. Um, you know what? It's only right that I gotta show this right. And now, week, what I do for week eight, right? I think I had me a long walk in week eight and found out that those 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 long hours of basketball muscles, the ones that, that get sore for a lot of us basketball players and, and athletes, I'm not sure if other athletes, uh, runners would, would, would know what I'm talking about. Those long hours and days and weeks of Continuous basketball. Like I took a long walk and I felt those those kinds of muscles. I mean, I mean, I took a long walk. It might have been ten miles, but I, I took a really long walk and um, man, I can't wait to have me a running routine, y'all. I can't wait. You know, that's that's one. That's another thing I want to implement into the. Uh, regimen into the actions is, is running um, but that walk was phenomenal man I uh, all I felt was those uh, what those what, what were those ankle muscles like uh, you know what I'm talking about those muscles at the, at the lower part of your leg that is all I felt right not my calves or anything like that ankle muscles those muscles right right on top of your foot right around the lower part of your tibia and your fibula and all of that and it felt good because it's been a long time since I felt those muscles uh, be sore and of course you know my lower back area 
that was one of the times that I felt like I had the ice after like a 10 mile walk, uh, which was really like 20 damn miles because I went and I came back, right? So it was really like 20 mile, about the 20 mile walk. Um, I didn't ice though, I don't know why, but I didn't ice. I just uh, light, light stretching. On both the the, the ankle area, you know, the, the tibia and fibula muscles, fib, fibrialis, tibialis, something like that. But those muscles, and also the um, the back, lower back, and whatnot. Um, shoulders were tight too. I don't know if I was like tense or whatever, but the shoulders were tight. Feels good though. Um, Glad I, I took that walk. So that's that's really all I did for week eight. And once again, that's what I'm talking about with the effort and the livelihood, you know. So um, for for what I've done, for the time, uh, you know, for, for 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 my dedication and thought and and, and expressing it and living it, I, I'm happy with with my results. Now a lot of what I did was was pretty much diet, you know. Um, my exercises aren't really coming, and I'm a I'm a, I'm a guy that uh, that uh, hit a workout in the morning, uh, hit a weight workout, probably a heavy, nice little weight wake up workout in the morning. Uh, get me a a nice. Fluid exercise such as swimming or basketball in the afternoon, and then and, uh, towards the evening, uh, uh, have me a, a, a specialized uh, muscle focused type of workout. You know, these these this is the kind of uh, dedication that I, uh, that you know that works for me. You know, that, that I'm I'm used to giving this kind of. Uh, body mind engineering right that's the kind of engineering that I'm that I'm used to that I like to do um, and if not I don't even really bother with it I just you know stay on my push-ups and stay toned and, and, and kind of um, that healthy spirit keep that healthy spirit around me you know so but when I'm when I'm body mind engineering and I'm dedicating um, my you know, when, I, when I'm dedicated and got a goal in mind, like that's how hard I'm used to going. So for, uh, for me, these past eight weeks have been nothing but um, dieting. And I've had a couple cheat days that I regret, you know? I really regret those cheat days that I've had. Like yesterday. But, um, Dieting for this coming eight weeks is raw. You heard me? Raw. You know what they call vegan? Yeah. So that's that's the focus as well for uh, that's the thought for this coming uh, for this coming eight weeks. But it's only right, right? I have to. So show off and not show off at the same time. Now remember, it's how you wake up. It's how you feel when you go to sleep. How you wake up. Uh, how you move throughout the day. Things like that. That'll really um, that'll really show you those subtle uh, changes that your body's going through. Remember, it, 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 at first it's at the cellular level. Especially if you're not used to doing these things. Or, or if you've stopped for a while, right? If you ever paused and stopped for a while, it's, it's, it's these subtle cellular changes that are taking place in your body and your mind as well to where the foods that make you feel good will change, right? Like, I felt bad throughout the whole time that I was eating my cheat food. You know, my, 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 my lame food, I should call it. I felt really bad throughout that whole time that I was doing it, you know. Uh, but once again, we're creatures of habit, so you got to break out of these habits and build new ones. All right. 
focus, build 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 that that new habit up, right? And then once um, it could shine and, and, and it actually becomes your livelihood, right? So yes, um, yes, yes, yes. You uh, don't worry. Yeah. So it's those it's those it's those little changes that show you um, where you at and. and it's all with the body and the mind, right? And then the mind is so important when it comes to that. You know? But yeah, let's let's see here. And this is an important part for me. This is important, right? A lot of people will say, "Oh, you're flexing your chest. Oh, it's that macho man thing." But whatever, you know. Have you ever seen a a Schwarzenegger and Conan? Man, that is some work. That body is, it was some work there, man. Anyways, um, it's something that, you know, as a child growing up, it, it's something that, that, get, that used to get referenced a lot, right? Conan the Barbarian and whatnot, right? So, um, to, for, for, our, for Schwarzenegger too. For however way it happened, right? It was Schwarzenegger. It, it just seemed perfect. His his physique was incredible, um, and a lot of my work also, y'all. Like I said, is the diet. But one of the biggest components of the diet, of course, was what I do when I wake up. Things like um, things like. What you drink when you wake up, whether it's coffee or tea or just simply water. Um, my main goal is to get to just simply water. Um, you know, when I wake up, and depending on where I'm at, uh, the specialized protein and what in the powder form um, and whatnot. You know, and not actual um, food. And then from there to just um, raw vegan. So that that's the goal, right? Is to go from the coffees and teas um, to the waters and the juices, and then from the uh, from what we call dirty proteins, right, to the cleaner proteins, and then to to where for me, anyways, I'm, the, the the main goal is is just uh, raw vegan juicing, you know. That's my goal as, as far as maintaining um, maintaining the body and the health. So, you know, I've definitely seen some changes physically. Um, now, bodybuilders will laugh at me, right? Like, what is he like? But th- these are important things for um, us that go through whatever we go through in life and that, that kind of influences how hard we go at physical and, and mental goals, right? And this is important for, 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 for development and, and, and um, livelihood and how you carry yourself and your peace and your mentality throughout your life. So, uh, for me, I've, I've always kind of struggled. Uh, I wouldn't even call it a struggle. It's just uh, levels and amounts of dedication. Um, and, and, having, and being able to maintain a certain quality of life, you know what I'm saying, um, while also giving yourself the best physique and mentality that you could achieve, so um, I've, I've definitely seen some great results for the uh, amount of work that I've been putting in, um, my fat percentage has gone down, I'm not sure where I'm at yet, but it, it, but it has gone down significantly um my belly's not as big anymore right um just uh things like that like the definition of my abs up here are showing a lot more but the main thing we want to do is is kill that body fat and clean proteins um cause I wanted to maintain my muscle mass also get rid of that body fat right perfect world maintain
maintain that muscle mass and get rid of that body fat. You know, um, it's easy and it's not. Um, but uh, recycling into another week eight. This is the second segment of week eight, right? Cho chose the eight weeks because scientifically 